Bitcoin update. Welcome back to Bitcoin Beats, guys. Thanks for all the messages. I have arrived safely in Bangkok. Super jet lags, so I'm not going to be uh, I'm not going to be trading too much. But uh, yeah, I am going to give you a little bit of an update here on Bitcoin. So four hour right here, right now. We did say that this rise up was actually uh, very, very steep, and we said it wouldn't surprise us if we did come down. Uh, whether it be a retest on the price action channel or the major moving averages here on the four hour uh, before breaking the high, and looking for a long trade, right? or just a complete cataclysmic dump into the abyss uh, and waiting for the trade basically as we break out of this pattern. One thing that's actually not great here with this thing is we've made a low before the actual end and we'll get to the long term in a minute because that is going to be way more substantial here but um, yeah we've we've basically made this low before we get to the the lower side of the pattern so what that's going to do is actually make a new pattern here as you can see uh, of a uh, triangle or wedge structure coming through right if you want to make this line a bit straighter on the top which is 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 valid to be honest you could call it an ascending triangle as well right uh, so basically what i'm looking for here for the trade let's just cut to the to the meat here um what I'd look for for a short here would actually be from 37 down, um, and that would be a trade down to 35.6, the bottom of this trend line. Um, and if you were a bit more audacious and a bit riskier, you could uh, look for this down at the volume weighted ATR band as well here. Uh, this prints on the chart, this green line. So um, yeah, that would be the short trade I'd be looking for. But yes, I'd be looking for this this low to break first, um, and even then, it's a, it's a bit more of a riskier trade. So just be careful with that. Uh, on the uh, absolute bearish. I want to see a candle close here below 34.3, a retest of this trend line, and then breaking down below the volume weighted ATR band, but as well as that, uh, similar to what we were saying at the top here, right, as well as that, uh, breaking the initial low, um, and, and then a, a getting in a short from that for a very, very nice short trade towards the lower side, right? Uh, so that's basically how I'm going to be playing this on the shorter time frames. The longer time frames are a bit more interesting as you can see here right uh, so uh, as we saw before that we made a low um, before the trend line on the four hour this is the daily now if we can just show you that boom yeah the daily now um, so yeah this is actually on the trend line of the daily which is going to be more valid anyway so again uh, if we do lose 37 this wick here then yes there is a trade down on the four hour but also it could initiate a pretty substantial move down here and the measure move I have drawn in here because I'm on my phone right so I just made it easy I just drew it in um, yeah the, the measure move coming down here because this has already got multiple lows here on along this line uh, essentially what we want to see is a low form under the line a retest of the line uh, and then break that for a substantial measure move all the way down to the volume weighted ATR band on the daily as well here right uh, that's also the bottom of the trap zone here 33k uh, on our major pattern which I will show you right now but uh, the short story here guys is nothing's really changed we are still technically in the pattern. It does look a little bit more bullish here to start the week, but um, yeah, nothing's really changed here. We are just going to wait for the for the better trades being in such a choppy, trappy market, um, all the things happening all over Russia and Canada and everything all over the world, right? So uh, we want to be careful here uh, with the smaller moves, with the smaller time frames. I would not advise trading below a four hour at all here. Uh, and even if you can uh, wait for something a bit more substantial on the daily, right? Substantial is the word of the day, apparently. <laughs> uh, we can also see here, We've got this massive, massive pattern. And again, um, yeah, that's the super long term here. If we get over 70K, that's obviously a massive trade here up to the 100. So uh, that would be cool, right? The downside here would basically be if Biden comes out and puts ridiculous uh, strangling regulations on crypto, on Bitcoin, um, based on everything that's happened in the world uh, over the past few months, Canada, Russia, all of that stuff. Um, yeah, if they did want to basically cancel Bitcoin and crash Bitcoin, then the institutions would be forced to sell, and that would drive the price down uh, a very like a lot okay a serious serious amount uh, basically down to the 20k area if I were to guess right I'm not going to be a crystal ball man here but yeah I mean that 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 would be uh, roughly where the where the institutions really got on board here a lot of the institutions actually got on late I did go back and watch my old videos um, and some of the older news here from from the ball run just a bit of a uh, bit of uh, research just to kind of get my point clear on that because we weren't sure where institutions got in uh, the, the main point here is yeah some did get in below 10k of course but the majority of them really got on board when it was a bit safer at 20k so if all of those guys were to sell i would expect 20k to be uh, a very important area 
for for support and if we lose that as well we could be uh, in a, a serious downtrend a serious bear market that could last for a very long time but at, at the same time the more they print dollars the more inflation that comes through I mean uh, the more likely it is to go up anyway right so uh, that's going to be your update uh, and again looking for that trade towards the upside if we do want to get back above that 47k area then yes I will be looking for a long up to the 50s and uh, again my, my strategy the actual trading I'm doing right now if you are interested guys uh, basically all I'm doing is running a, a giant grid between 36k and 51k and if you don't know what that means uh, it's basically uh, it will, will basically layer buy and sell orders in the in the range I've set out which is again a 51k 36k um, and then as we as we basically stay volatile and randomly go through here in these volatile times of the world then uh, it's going to automatically take trades just randomly right so just fill orders sell orders fill orders just with volatility making the money okay and for example here I've made uh, I made two trades today automatically from 37.3 up to 39.3 or something like that uh, and, and that was that was like twice over the past few days so um, yeah yeah, well, it wasn't today. It was it was over two days, I believe. So yeah, that's just a great example of volatility playing out the same trade twice and not having to really think about it, right? So I will continue running that grid, uh, but with my jet lag, I'm I'm not really going to be trading. It doesn't make sense to trade um, when you're completely overtired and your body's saying sleep <laughs> and your your brain's saying stay awake, right? So yeah, basically what I'm going to do here is just get my body clock back on track and then we'll get back to the trading later on. So yeah, have a great day here, guys. I'll see you in the next video video and uh yeah like it if you can comment let me know how you're doing how you're trading if you're making money and uh yeah peace out goodbye from bitcoin peace